Hello and welcome to Chatterboxes. I'm Dan. And I'm Chrissy. First up today, we have all the dirt on Media City's litter issue. With more businesses at Media City, that means more people and more rubbish. Emma has more. Litter remains a massive problem even today, and Media City is no stranger to this issue. Having long since marked its place against Greater Manchester, there are certain expectations held to it, including its appearance. The River Irwell, however, shows another story. So let's ask a quick question, what do you make of the pollution in the river? I actually didn't know at first that it was this bad. And then yeah. like, we, we walked down here and you can see it in that corner. Yeah, it's kind of like the whole thing in the corners. I didn't really notice it until like, we actually come down here. Um, but the room actually looked quite nice. Yeah, because everything else is like, really nice and well made. Yeah. 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 So you think it's sort of being forgotten about with yeah. all yeah. the money that's being spent? Yeah. Yeah, it's quite a Not all of the local authorities are remaining idle. Local security are issued with cameras. Anyone caught dropping so much as a cigarette butt can be fined up to £80. Cleaners are contracted, but only when considered necessary. This can often leave gaps as long as a week between cleanups. So do you think appearance is important when attracting business? Like, not just building wise, but its surrounding areas and how the areas look after them. Would that bring more business in? Oh, definitely. Local security at Media City can be found and alerted within the area. The Salford Council can be contacted with an online form regarding local environmental issues, including litter specifically, on its website. Now we're well into the next season of football. Manchester United played earlier this week. Our reporters went down to the game to see what the predictions were. Manchester United will be feeling confident coming off the back of a 4-0 win against Everton, and fans will expect to repeat when facing Championship side Burton Albion, who are going through a bit of a rough patch at the bottom of the Championship. Burton won't be looking back fondly on their last meeting with United after a 5-0 thrashing back in 2006. With key players such as De Gea and Valencia being rested, United will be fielding a weakened squad, which not only gives youngsters a chance to get some first-team football, but may also lead to a more competitive match. Mourinho said before the game that he's going to leave out De Gea, Valencia, Matic, by what do you think to that? Expected, really. Yeah. It's what we're used to, isn't it? Yeah. Should still be a 4-0 though, let's have it. I don't mind, I mean it gives it gives other players a chance to play that haven't been playing like, Rashford doesn't actually play every game and hopefully Rashford will start tonight and Martial will start tonight, which is a good thing and some of the young guys will start, I like that. Yeah, yeah. The young guns are abundant, uh, or the guys who aren't getting uh, many games, so definitely. However, a repeat of last time wouldn't be a shock. So with such a gap in the quality of players, what do the fans think the outcome will be? It's match day at Old Trafford. It's Manchester United against Burton Albion in the League Cup. Let's get some predictions for tonight's game. What are your predictions for today's, today's game? Another 4-0. It'd be nice. I predict they'll put a week inside out for a start. <laughs> uh, I think they'll take it easy. They'll get the match secure. And then they'll just sub people if they need to rest players, etc, etc. I can't see an upset, to be honest, like, but you never know. Can't. Can't count all your chickens, can you? Yeah, it should be. Uh, should have. Should get a few goals by rights. Uh, four nil to United. And what are your predictions for the rest of the season? Do you think you can win some more trophies this season? For sure. Last season was a success. Three trophies last season. All right, they weren't the biggest, the best, but yeah. we're up for it this year. We're certainly challenging for everything this year. All depends on injuries, don't it? Yeah. yeah. I think when they come up against the likes of City, Arsenal, Chelsea. It'll be a different prospect, like it's been easy up to now, if you know what I mean. Like, it's never easy, of course, in the Premier League, but there you go. Uh, a lot better side than they had last year, starting for their team spirit going, and yeah, I think we'll legitimately finish in top four this year, definitely. Yeah, without a doubt, yeah. without a doubt, we're going to win everything inside. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, this week, Salford University have welcomed their new students with an action-packed week full of activities and fairs. I went down to have a look to see what's on offer this year. On Wednesday, we visited Salford University's sports fair and this is what we discovered. Hello, this is Katie Price and we're going to interview her about the cheerleading team. You're a tumbler, aren't you, Katie? Yes, I'm a tumbler. So how long has the cheerleading society been going on for? I want to say about six years. It's around then. 
around six years. Yeah, it's going to be six years. Um, so it? what's your favourite part of like being in the squad and part of the team? Like, the team are pretty sound to be honest, like, they're so much fun, we go out all the time, yeah. like, and they're just such a laugh, it's like, it's basically like having like family that isn't the actual family, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like family, family away from home, home. Yeah. so nice. So you do competitions as well, how many do you do and what are they like? Uh, we do, normally try and get two in a year and then we do varsity. And have you ever seen it like, have you ever seen it on like a film and it's like mad, these two? Yeah, yeah it's is actually it like, like that, like yeah. American high school. It is. We don't have pom-poms, we don't do that bit. We, we don't. don't have pom-poms. No, no. How come? We're just not pom people. We're not about the pom-pom no, no. stuff. Okay, cool. Well, thank you for talking to us today. We were welcomed with great enthusiasm and pride from each society, which made us want to find out more about them. Okay, so this is Ian, I'm going to be interviewing you today about the football society. So what position do you play in the team? I play yeah. centre midfield for the first team. You all live together. Yeah. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, it's really good. And what um, sort of events do you do every year? Uh, well, we train every Tuesday, and then we have a game every Wednesday, and then we also have social events after every game on Wednesday as well. And at the end of the year we go to Barcelona, play at the university, uh, Spanish teams, and then obviously. Yeah. Right, and yeah, Chad. And is it open to a lot of people of all experience? Yeah, well we have, we had last year about 140 people go to trials, um, but we can only select 65. Yeah. Uh, so we have three teams, and then an IMS team, which is like where you play against all the sofa teams. Uh, but the first, second and thirds play against all the universities. Thank you. Not only were we informed about training and weekly activities, but also the social aspect of them. For example, the annual ski trip which takes place in March, creating a great sensation of excitement for the future at Salford University. I'm Emily Heath today and I'm going to talk to her about the University of Salford Archery Society. So what kind of things can you do in the society? All sorts. Well, for one, we run a beginner's course twice yearly. Which yeah, no, no, entails taking people from actual total beginners so up to like you? qualified archers. Yeah. So um, that's really good. We also do year long competitions. So well, we compete with local universities, we have national competitions, and we have an internal league as well. Yeah. Uh, we also have loads of socials, like our yearly archery tag social. You can basically shoot each other. Yeah. So it's, it's great fun. Um, and it's a good way lot. to make friends. Oh, yeah, totally. Like we go to the SU weekly and stuff. We'll chat and yeah, we try and go out for meals yeah. and stuff. Super fun. Yeah, sounds really good. Yeah, yeah. Down there. Um, Chrissy, what societies are you thinking about joining? I'm very passionate about my dancing, so oh, I'll really? definitely okay. be heading to dance and probably try something different like cheerleading. What about yourself? Okay, uh, well, I'm thinking about doing like television and radio because I'm studying media here at the University of Salford, so I might go on someone along with that, really. Cool, cool. That's it for now. We'll be back in an hour with more. Thank you for watching. See you shortly. Thank you. Goodbye. So you want to do